Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. We are here with your top secret cross watchers video. It is the thoughts, feelings, intentions, the overall viewpoints and opinions your person of interest has about you and your relationship. Scorpio, let's look at your reading. The overall energy is elephant spirit learn from the past. So your person has been learning from the past and they're bringing that energy into the relationship. Seahorse spirit, watch and wait. So your person is conservative in their approach to the relationship with you. They're willing to take their time to get to know you. Watching and waiting is what they have been doing. And hummingbird spirit, be here now. So they are living very much in the moment with you and um, I really love the energy. I am so happy about your reading. This is truly beautiful. The first thing that I see <laughs> is the chariot card. The chariot card is them rushing in. They are no longer holding back. Holding back would be, you know, up uh, right side up. Your person was holding back in the past. They are no longer holding back and they are headed <clears throat> directly to you. Scorpio, this person was searching for answers. They were soul searching. They were looking at you, really saying to themselves, does this, is this person have the same keys to the same locks in the same doors that I want to pass through in life? And the answer is yes. They see you as a person with whom they could share an incredibly abundant, beautiful life that, you know, you both love children, whether it's children, grandchildren, the neighbor's children, or whether you're aunts and uncles, that, you know, both of you really love children. You're both fiercely loyal people. And that Virgo energy, that person is, your person is very conscientious. They're very conscientious and very self-aware. I had the chariot card here. They're rushing in. And look at this, the chariot card again in your outcome. But we'll revisit this. All right. So when it comes to your relationship, they love this beautiful energy of the six of coins with the nine of coins. They see you, Scorpio, as a person who is very accomplished. You know, you can't go directly from the six of coins to the ten of coins, but you're at the nine of coins. And look at this. We have the ten of coins twice. So your person sees you as a person, as a significant other, who is completely self-sufficient and they are so respectful of that energy. They really feel so respectful. In the past, they were in situations in which people wanted or needed them because they needed financial help. And that proved to unravel relationships or their relationships in the past weren't about them. Their relationships in the past were about what people wanted to receive from them. We have the Hermit card and the Hermit card. Oh my gosh, this, your person is so ready. They are so ready for you. The Hermit card is, of course, seeking answers and your person is enlightened. They have learned. They are rushing towards you. They have an open heart. They're going to become very, very romantic if they haven't already. Movement of cups, sort of very much like a sweeping you off their feet or off your feet. I'm sorry, off their feet, off your feet. We have the beautiful Libra Queen and then we have justice card libra energy and again the libra queen your person is very discerning they have brought logic passion groundedness an open heart and a good feeling of passion into the relationship they're very well balanced here scorpio i have not your readings have been getting better and better but this is a stunningly good reading we have 
the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords has been doing self-examination, giving quote unquote herself, spiritual herself. This is a symbolic card, um, but this person has been so introspective, searching their heart for the honest answer. Can I love Scorpio? Do I love Scorpio? How is this going to work? Can I give myself fully? With the le lessons of the past, did I learn them the right way? Have I taken the time? The Hermit card says they have taken the time. The Queen of Swords card says that they have thought about this in depth, in detail, and they can give their heart to you. This is a Twin Flame card. It's from the Naked Heart Tarot, and it is a number 22. They feel as though you are a Twin Flame and that the two of you burn brightly. The Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. This is insane. It's beautiful. It's sane. It's, it's insane how insanely sane they are. I know that sounds really crazy, but this person, it's Ten of Coins, Ten of Coins, Nine of Coins, Nine of Coins. I mean, this is an incredible reading. Your person really, they're in the same situation. You are total equals. You both work hard. You've both earned your own money. You've both earned your own or created your own wealth. And the Ten of Coins, you're already there. All that is is a commitment. That's your vows, wedding vows away from going from the nine of ten to co of coins. The six of wands, beautiful energy. This really speaks to the person feeling as though they are having a heartfelt, passionate victory for having met their equal. Your person feels very much that they, that you are equals with them, that they are equal to you. We have also with this discerning energy of the Queen of Swords, we have them stepping into this energy of, you know, taking more of a risk. They're going to talk to you. If they haven't already, they're about to tell you that they are leaving the burdens of their past behind. They no longer think about the past with anyone else. They are at peace. They feel as though they've studied the situation. They've done their healing. They feel as though they can stick up for themselves and not get taken advantage of. Not only that, that you would never take advantage of them. Your person really sees you as their divine destiny. We have the divine, the card of divine love. Um, if both of you, this is the justice card. It's a marriage license. This is a card of victory, but it's a big card of victory because it's all about we're here, we've arrived. Oh my gosh, I never thought I would find this deep love. Beautiful Sagittarius energy, spirit came in. Wheel of fortune, this is changing and it is changing quickly, Scorpio. Just gorgeous. You may, if both of you have wealth and abundance from a previous time in your life, which you probably do, you will either, you will Mar I th do think that the, you will marry. I, this justice card is the recognition, Libra. It's a seventh house of relationships and marriage. It's about partnership of a legal nature. What we're seeing here with this Libra energy, Scorpio, is that there may be a prenuptial agreement or there may not. You may simply buy property together, but you are going to have a relationship that is divinely and legally sanctioned. The Wheel of Fortune says that your love fortunes have changed. And look at these two. Look at the two horses running in here. Like, look at this. So your outcome for this reading, Scorpio, is very much be here now. You are right here with this divine love partner. Uh, this is a pretty short reading. It was so simple. Scorpio, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me how you, uh, tell me where you live. Thank you. Take care.